What is happening, people? It is your boy, Brad, here. Welcome along to the Big Brad channel. And it is that time of the week again. Well, it is that time of the week because football is back. Finally! Finally, we got a game. Thursday night, kickoff, um, 8 o'clock, 7.45, whichever one it is. I don't know. It's been that long since I uh, made a video on the um, Arsenal. As in, like, um, preview and prediction lineup and reaction and player rating videos that it's, <laughs> it's just slipped my mind the time that it kicks off so let me just um just get my other phone and um, confirm to you all what time the game kicks off on thursday night and it is yeah 745 745 kickoff uh, bt sport if you want to know what channel it's on and then well We've got them, then we got Brentford, then we've got Wolves again. I mean, two games against Wolves in a matter of weeks, it, it just doesn't get any better than that. But, um, but the breaks between games and there's three games, incredibly, still to um, arrange. Three games against Liverpool, Chelsea and Spurs. Three games, all to a rearrange, and I, I just can't believe the way this season has gone. I mean, we start out the way we did, and we're in the situation where we are now, and that is the fact that we're past January, we didn't make any signings, which obviously you can see in my last video I was really miffed and pissed off about, but we have to move on, we have to roll on with the time, and we have to try and back the team and believe in what we've got going but do you really think do i really think that we can um make a substantial push for the top four i don't think so that's my opinion anyway but i will back the team right until the death and hopefully we can secure a european place whether it's the champions league europa league or even that stupid mickey mouse fucking mickey mouse's brother Mickey Mouse's brother, yeah, we'll call it the Mi Well, the Europa League was called the Mickey Mouse League. And then they basically made another one, a sister, <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> well, they've made his missus, uh, Mini the Minnie Mouse Cup, and that's the uh, Europa Conference League. I mean, what? It, it just look, the trophy. I mean, I've seen the trophy for the Europa Conference League. I mean, it just looks like a glass vase that you put flowers in. I mean... <laughs> I mean, the Europa League, at least it looks like a trophy, but the, the Conference League trophy, it just looks like a vase, what you put flowers in. I mean, Jesus Christ, they could have made a better design than that. But screw the Europa Conference League, screw everything else. We're talking about the Wolves game. I mean, we've been away for quite a while. We have the AFCON. We've got all our players back now. And we're basically back to... Near enough full strength, anyway, at least. That's one good thing. But, um, well, the last time I was here was, um, well, it was quite a while back. Since there's been a massive long break of no games whatsoever. And now they're starting to um, pinpoint the games where um, teams have got games in hand. And they need to rearrange them into the middle of the week. And that's exactly what they're doing. Um, here, so Wolves, it's going to be a tough game, Wolves are a really really solid team they've got a really good setup. they've got a really good coach who's really drilled it into them to re play really good football and they've got Raul Jimenez back and um, I'm glad, I really am glad, it was uh, the game against Arsenal where he um, suffered the head injury, what he suffered um Fractured skull. Fractured skull he suffered during the game against Arsenal. And he had to wear that um, headband around his head. But I think he's had it took off now. So, But I'm glad to see him back playing football. And it's just great after what happened there. Because I was really, really, really worried for him. But it's great to see him back. Great to see him scoring goals again. And it's going to be a really good game, I think. And um, they will give us a tough test. But I believe that we will have a bit more going forward than them. I mean, Nicola Pepe, he got into the team 
of the tournament for the um, AFCON. But everyone will just turn around to me and say, Brad, why are you saying that he looks a rejuvenised player because of the AFCON? Well, simply because the AFCON has given him a motivational confidence and he can come back like a new signing, basically, and rejuvenise um, excuse me, his career. Because he has really struggled in recent times to adapt and try and um, freely motivate the way he plays and try to um, um, dictate games the way he wants to. But I think he will be a good like impact player because obviously he's not going to get into the starting eleven. Not right now with the likes of Martinelli, Saka, Emil Smith-Rowe. And all those players in front of him, he's got no chance. He hasn't got a leg to stand on, but he will be a good impact player to come off the bench and make an impact off the bench. I mean, don't get me wrong, our team is looking like it's coming back to shape now because of all the time that we've had off and the light weather training in Dubai and such. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So let's get in to the predicted lineup starting in goal. Our number one, England's number one for me. He should be Aaron Ramsdale. Um, sorry, Jordan, but you're just a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. John Pickford, I mean, he is a good keeper. Don't get me wrong, he is a good keeper. But Ramsdale this season has just been levels above. I mean, he has got the second or third best clean sheets in the league. Only. Allison and Edison have got better ratios than him. I mean, what more evidence do you need? That Gareth Southgate needs to look at that and say, look, I like to play out from the back. That's exactly how England like to play. They like to play out from the back, and that's how most teams play these days. They like to play out from the back and literally um, do that. But Gareth Southgate needs a goalkeeper who can play out from the back, and Ramsdale has proven this season that he is good with his feet. Because once upon a time, before he was a keeper, he was a central midfielder. And he can play with his feet. So, Gareth, just pick Ramsdale for goodness sake. Right, going to the right back position, Takahiro Tomiyasu should be back fit. Um, was injured during the period where we were playing like teams like Liverpool in the Cup and such like. But he should be back now. And he should be back into the team. Um, going to the centre back positions, that's an easy scenario. Because... <laughs> Ben White and Gabriel. I mean, next season, there has been a few rumblings that, um, obviously, William Saliba, he is definitely coming back. And hopefully, we tie him down to a new contract and he will, obviously, want to fight for his place. But for me, for me, this is my opinion, I think we should play a three at the back. Saliba, Gabriel and White. That would be immense. That would be immense. And Tierney and Tomiyasu as the wing-backs... Jesus Christ, you've got a back five there that could literally do wonders in the Premier League. Ramsdale in goal, jeez, that could be something. But then you've got the aforementioned of dropping one of the much further forward players like your Smith, Rose, Erdegaards, such like. But that will come in time. But yeah, like I said, the centre-back pairing is going to be Gabriel and Benjamin White. Left-back, my captain, Kieran Tierney. I mean, I want this guy to be captain. I really do. But will it come? I think it will because Tierney is a leader. He leads from the back. He leads from the front. He gets forward. He crosses balls in. He's a really, really all good all-round player. Defensively, he's sound. Attacking-wise, he's sound. There's obviously a few games where he's not going to be at the levels where you expect him to be, but that's due to like the, the amount of games that we play. So that's it. So Tierney at left back. Going into the central midfield positions. This is going to be interesting because... Uh, do you play a three with um, Thomas Partey in the holding position, then Erdegaard and Smith Rowe alongside him? Or do you play the flat two with um, Thomas Partey and either Lokonga or El Nenny, maybe, in the centre midfield positions? As El Nenny's now back and he did make uh, the final of the AFCON, but sadly was on the losing end against uh, Senegal. But congratulations to Moel Nenny anyway for getting to the final of the AFCON. Um, commiserations to Egypt for losing that final due to penalty shootout and Mane scored the winning penalty after missing in the first five minutes of the uh, of the game. But again, congratulations to Mo for getting to the final. 
Um, but it'd be interesting to see how Arteta goes with this. But for me, I think we should go with the three in midfield. Thomas Pye in the holding position. Then Smith Rowe and Erdegaard alongside him. Then in the forward line, pretty straightforward. Left wing Martinelli. Right wing Bukayo Saka. Up front, Alexandra Lacazette. Simple as that. And that is it for the video. If you do enjoy the video, you know what to do by now, guys. Slap a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I will see you probably either Friday or maybe even Saturday morning for the reaction and player ratings video. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later.